Alan will be very disappointed with that result. Massively disappointed the lads have got it in there because I thought we created enough to win the game. We never took the chance, that, but we never looked under any pressure to concede a goal. And then obviously everyone's seen what happened. Big Wheats gets a little niggle. And then there's a bit of a miscommunication. Danny's saying he's no good. We want to give it a go. And, and in that time, we'll concede the goal. So I should have took responsibility. I'll take that one. I should have took responsibility and took Wheats off and put Jake on. But it is what it is. We're we missed far too many chances. We should have been one to look after 30 seconds and manage the game from then. And I think a the second half, there was enough chances there to win the game and we never done it. Yeah, we had plenty of possession, didn't we? And we had plenty of good opportunities around their box, but we couldn't capitalise on them. No, it was quite, I'll be honest, the pitch was quite difficult. I think them give it away quite a lot and we give it away. And you could see how lively and bobbly it was. It wasn't like the Bradford pitch where it was zipping. It was kicking up a lot constantly. And it was taking lads two, three touches mm. to get the ball under control, which made the game a little bit slow. I think for both sides you could see that. But it was just, as I say, the, the chances that were had. They weren't clear cut chances, but I think they were enough to get way in front. And from then on, we should have probably, we would have probably managed the game through. But I say di- terribly disappointed to go out because. I don't think we deserve to go out, but it, it certainly wasn't good enough. Especially after showing some good form in this winning streak that we've had. No, it's, it, we've been great, but the last two games haven't been as such, which is what I, I, I want to make a couple of other changes today, but it was, it's too risky. You want to make sure you win the game, but it, it hasn't worked out. And some lads are still short of fitness. I think you could see that Ben got a little bit of a... He, he said he felt a little nerve pain in his hamstring, so we had to get him off. Hayes has got cramp, he's got a nerve pain down his hamstring, so it's whether it's running on this hard, compact 3G is the stuff that's done it to them in the same one wheats. He said it felt more nervy than a pull, so we'll see how it is, but it doesn't help when you've got to constantly make changes. It's, it, it, it doesn't help the just the fluency of the way we play, but again, I still think we've done enough to get something from that game. And, because after that, I think after conceding the goal, we weren't good enough. We never reacted in a positive way for me. I thought we should have done a lot more, and we never really done that. We just let them take control, really. Yeah, with Wheats there, it seems as if he pulled something, didn't he? I mean, and let's be honest, the referee did us a favour because he penalised their lap for a foul, and it was clear that Wheats are doing it completely on his own. I, I turned because I thought Wheats had just turned for the ball, and that was it. It was fine. He was away, but then the next minute he's on the floor, and he's he said he felt something a like pop, not pull, more of a pop, but. So he was wondering if it was just a join, a jerk or whatever, and that's why he wanted to give it a go. But the ref obviously thought there was a knock there, but I never, I certainly didn't see a, a contact in any way there. So he, he done well a favour, but end up conceding straight after that anyway. So it's it's really disappointing, but we've got to concentrate now on the next game. We've got to make sure the lads get focused again for Chester. He gave a debut to young Dan Dodds and uh, I thought he stood out at times even though he had that mask on he's, <laughs> he's done really well it's just a shame that he ends up on the losing team you look at it but it, I think he's, well, he'll be a real asset when you look at what he's got he's got a bit of pace he's got defensive quality is really good when he gets done his recovery runs are really good so I was really impressed with Dodds today but now we've got to bounce back haven't we back to the league now Chester next up yeah, as I said to the lads, it, it's gone now. There's nothing we can do about it. A cup runs over. That's it. We've got to make sure. It didn't even get started, to be honest. We've got to make sure that we get back and win the next game. It's how you bounce back after you've been on these runs. And that's what I said to the lads. We've got Chester. We need to get my minds focused on that. Rest and recover. Make sure we get them in this week. Do a few bits of work. And hopefully I've got a clean bill of health to choose from next week.